Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool device that was added today in UE Fender Fortnite Creative. Now, I've been trying to make this tutorial, but Fortnite kept kicking me out. But hopefully, this is going to let me go through the entire thing. But basically, today, they added a device called the Camera Orbit Device or Orbit Camera Device, which pretty much lets us do a pseudo first person camera in Fortnite or Unreal Engine for Fortnite. So, that being said, we already have it open right now Unreal Editor 5.4. And basically, I just have to go to Fortnite. Obviously, go ahead and update it if you haven't done so. And we'll search Orbit right here. And what I'll do is I will drag and drop the device right here. And I'm going to press G to enter the game mode. Now, this is pretty interesting. If you're familiar with Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5, basically what this device is allowing us to do is actually change the camera in the third person blueprint or the pawn player, whatever you want to call it. So that's pretty much what it's doing. Additionally, if you're again familiar with the UEVR mod for Unreal Engine 5 that I've been covering here on the channel, <laughs> it's clearly the same thing. So here we are. This person right here is actually the player. And the camera that we're going to be controlling or moving around to change it to first person is this right here. So I'll go to the right side in the details. And I'll scroll down. There's some options in here that you can play around with. Uh, first things first, I want this to be enabled as soon as the player starts. So I have that checked off. It's already on by default, so I'm not going to touch that. Uh, for the field of view, which is kind of cool, we're already kind of viewing the camera right here on the bottom right corner. And I'll make this bigger. So I will increase that to 120. Get like a FOV of 120. That's really common in first person shooters like COD and so on and so forth. Whenever I'm playing first person or switching the camera to first person, I like that as max as I can so I can see everything pretty much. But again, you can mess around with it yourself. And right below that, you can hide the player character if you don't want to see the weapon or the arms or the hands. But in this case, I actually want to see the weapons and I want to see the hands, kind of like Counter Strike, if you will. So I'm not going to check that. And here's the fun part. Now I'm going to take a look at this camera. I wish we can move the camera with our transform gizmo like you would in Unreal Engine 4 or 5. But in this case, we're going to have to move this by the numbers as far as I know. So with the distance, I'm going to set this to zero. As you can see, that's going to bring the camera closer to our player, which is what we want. So right now, if you look at the editor and look at the bottom left corner, you're going to see our coordinate system. We have Z to be up and down. We have Y to be left and right and X is going to be forward and back. So if we want to make this camera move to the right, we're going to have to move it on the Y axis to the right. So if I go to offset Y, let's set this to zero. Again, that's going to move it to the left. And now we're going to mess with our Z axis. I'll change the Z axis to maybe 90. That's going to move it up a little bit, maybe 110 or so. Now, depending on how you want this set up, again, totally up to you. And what I'll do now is I'll move this camera here because this is the lens and the, the hood right here. So I will offset this to maybe 20 to move the camera just a little bit, just like so. All right, so it is a little bit too high still. So maybe I'll offset this to 100, maybe 105. And the horizontal speed, I want to turn that up as far as the camera. And if you kind of highlight it, it's going to tell you the speed the camera moves on X and Y axis to the frame target, which is what we want. Now, you can clamp these rotations as well, but for you to mess around with that, you're actually going to have to play the game, take a look at it. I'm going to press changes, select, save and select, and now this is going to load it up in our game here. All right, so here we are in the game, and I had to mess around with the settings a little bit. I had to set the actual Z to 85 instead of 110 or 100 because that was a little bit too high. But as you can see right now, this is working a little bit better. Now, obviously, if you have like a scope rifle or a pistol or anything scoped, it's not going to work unless you probably connect it with Verse and some type of HUD uh, using the event bind or whatever. But right now, this looks pretty darn cool. I just have to kind of cycle through all the weapons to see which one would work because I am planning on pretty much um, adding first person to some of my one-shot gun game like this one that you're looking at because I think it still feels pretty cool. Like, to think that this is Fortnite right now, it's pretty freaking mind-blowing, and it runs really well as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, it's really cool to see uh, Epic Games starting to educate people on how this all works, because technically, the device that just came out, the Camera Orbit, is just allowing you to change the camera in the third-person blueprint in Fortnite. So, 
it's a really perfect way to get into learning Unreal Engine. It's kind of like a gateway. But that being said, if you want to check out this map, this one's already done, it's published, but it's in third person right now. It's a one-shot gun game. It's called Train Yard One-Shot Gun Game, but I'm going to be converting it to first person because it looks amazing. Now, I might actually move it a little bit lower, just a little bit more, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. See y'all in the next one. Peace out.